In this episode of Aviation This Week, Pilatus receives Transport Canada type certification for the PC-12 NGX. Then, Avcorp is awarded F-35 contracts and NASA launches a helicopter toward Mars. Pilatus Aircraft on July 29th announced it had received Transport Canada type certification for its single-engine PC-12 NGX turboprop aircraft. Levero Aviation, Canada's authorized Pilatus Sales and Service Centre, plans to begin a countrywide demonstration tour of the aircraft this September. The PC-12 NGX is a third-generation platform of the PC-12, which now accounts for a worldwide fleet of more than 1,700 aircraft, including over 100 in Canada. The NGX features a range of advances, including the new Pratt & Whitney PT-6 E-Series engine, smarter avionics, and a redesigned cabin with larger windows. The PC-12 NGX holds a maintenance interval extension to 600 hours, an increase of 1,500 hours to the engine TBO, which is now at 5,000 hours, and what Pilatus pegs as hourly direct operating costs that are reduced by at least 9%. Avcorp Industries of Delta BC has been awarded contracts by BAE Systems for the assembly of the F-35 carrier variant outboard wing. Building on an 11-year F-35 relationship between the two companies, the contracts are worth approximately $87 million and extend into 2022. BAE is a key piece of the multi-nation supply chain building the fifth generation F-35 Lightning II, which is ultimately coordinated through the F-35 Joint Program Office with Lockheed Martin serving as the prime contractor. There are more than 110 Canadian companies contributing to the production of the F-35 program. Avcord's build of the F-35C outboard wing is regarded as one of the more complex assemblies manufactured for the F-35 by the Canadian aerospace industry. The assemblies are delivered directly to the Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Facility in Fort Worth, Texas, which holds a mile-long production line to produce all three F-35 variants. NASA on July 30th launched the Perseverance rover holding the Mars helicopter, Ingenuity, toward the Red Planet. Scheduled to arrive at Mars in February 2021, Perseverance will deploy Ingenuity sometime in the spring of next year for a 30-day demonstration mission as it attempts to become the first aircraft to achieve controlled flight on another planet. Comprised of more than 1,500 individual pieces, but with no scientific instruments, Ingenuity weighs just 1.8 kilograms with two counter-rotating carbon fiber blades designed to run at almost 3,000 RPMs to bite into the weak Martian atmosphere. NASA explains a helicopter on the Martian surface is already at the Earth equivalent of 30,480 meters in altitude, with altitude records for a helicopter flying on Earth at around 12,200 meters. The Ingenuity test campaign hopes to achieve at least five flights of incrementally farther distances up to a few hundred meters and durations as long as 90 seconds.